Okay, so the question, very good question about um, about being an empath. How do you survive a family or a situation? You know, what are the tips? If you live in a family, you're the empath and you're absorbing everything that's going on in the family. And also, you know, when do you know when to step back? Can you help? Should you, should you help? Um, how do you survive it? A good question. So I'm not going to answer it. I'm going to ask them to see what they, and ask them to step forward to see the answer to the question. So just one moment. We never asked you to heal others. We asked you to work on yourself and by you working on yourself increases your awareness and your frequency level too and frequency we have said this before your frequency in yourself keeps your energy high so that then you can achieve where you need to go by helping others in the sense of holding yourself back by feeling it is your job to help your family members it stops you from moving on in your family. The only way to help your family is for you to look at what you can do for you. It is like the mother that watches her child, her toddler, who begins to walk. If she kept bending down to pick up her child, to fix when the child falls over and they're there, the child soothes from the mother, but the child never learns to walk. You are only there in a sense so that your other family members can witness this, that your growth. And sometimes with families, individuals fear that if they change so much, they may no longer fit into their families and then hold them back. There's been many cases that we have witnessed where other humans have extended themselves and have moved forward from their family and look back and see how they have moved forward, whether upgrading into jobs or upgrading into their lifestyle, upgrading into whatever sense that is. You may, some of you feel that, how was we born into this family? You showed them how you can move forward. It is very much so that we are showing Anne that if you do not help yourself, you begin to sink within the family. You begin to drown within, within all those wounds that they carry. It is not your job to carry or to step forward with their wounds. It is your job to take care of yourself. As the empath, we suggest that all you can do is you can empathize and understand this is your family, this is their journey, but you must continue to move on. You are not there to fix them. Only by you fixing yourself to some degree, we do not like this word, but by you taking care of yourself and working with what feels right for you, your family then begins to see the difference. Then they see how you are living your life and then hopefully they will see this and want to move forward with this themselves. So it is not so much like we question or the what we said earlier in the sense of being around like-minded peoples and souls and their journey you heal them to some degree not necessarily you assist them because you are there if they need your assistance you're on the journey together but we do not say for an empath to prolong your experience to prolong your development by their be holding onto your family so that you do not grow that is not your soul's journey. If you are to do that, you forsake yourself. You do not grow, you do not move forward, you get stuck. And what about when the soul comes into the human being? You know, when, when does that wo wound uh, you know, actually happen or does it come in with the wound or whatever or whatever? So we'll have a little look. That's a brilliant question. I absolutely love that. So thank you for asking that. Okay, thank you. And they're like, okay, they're stepping forward. Okay. Okay, so you have to imagine we use this, the seed. The seed is in the germination. So let's explain. So what happens is the soul, wholeness in the sense that 
it is complete to some degree, but there is so many different levels. So different parents have different frequencies when they first come together. So uh, we send the soul on a certain frequency. Ah, thank you. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. It's like the metronome. There are different, uh, you can make it go faster or slower, different frequencies. Your uh, earth parents are on different frequencies. And for your soul journey, the soul may to look at a different frequency that needs to be assisted to look at. So your soul is then married up with the frequency of the other souls. So it's like a pack in such in some sense or some shape or form. We are aware that the frequency needed to be healed, the frequency needed to be looked at, whether that whole soul comes in to heal the family to some degree. But as we said, it is not your duty to heal the family, but the frequency, ah, thank you, it's like a, a, sympathy, a symphony, orchestra. It's like the sound, the different, uh, the bass, the trumpet, everything is, is, is all to come together. So the soul comes through in the sense that it meets up with the frequency of the earth parents. Now, this is not necessarily true in the sense that the soul is not wounded before it comes to the earth on a different time and plane. It is that the soul from past lives may need healing in situations. And so the soul steps forward to look at the frequency that it needs to come back upon the earth, the work that it wishes to commence, the work of the other side of the soul. So there have, may have been many lifetimes the soul has maybe not perfected itself to some degree, maybe needing some teachings to some degree, but may need to now shift into a different energy stream just to look at other issues that needed to be assisted at many different times before. So the soul in to some degree, we would not say is totally whole or one as such, but needs to look at different frequencies of itself. It's planned this way. So when the currency of the individuals that have come together and some parents that the individuals, the couples who come together will also affect the soul, the baby that is born from their energies. There has been many that Anne has assisted recently a client who stepped forward, she knew there had been four babies, but the woman was insistent there was only three babies in this marriage. The fourth one, the firstborn, was did not complete its journey. So the fourth one, or the firstborn that was, you would, we do not like saying born because it was not completed the soul as such, but the firstborn in some degree was still there within the family setting. This child was watching over its younger brothers and sisters and it needed to come to her if she was going to stay in this relationship. The relationship finished. She made the decision that this baby would not be born. And so that soul did not come step forward, but it steps forward in spirit, in divine, in the essence to guide the children. And children have seen this. And she was most shocked when Anne recovered, revealed that there was this other baby, this soul that was meant to be here to some degree, but also was aware as the soul was telling her about the relationship that she had been in at that time. So your soul comes to the planet and attaches itself to the frequency like a static, it's static energy that has been brought forward. Ah, oh, we show Anne this balloon, when the balloon rubbed on the head and the hair, it's static. This is the static that brings forward the soul to the individual parents, the situation that they're in. So the, when the soul is here, the wounds occur in the human form to some degree, that the wounds are created for the germination period of the history of the childhood experiences. But we're also aware from the past lives, there are souls that have much wounds to be healed in this lifetime and can carry them forward to be corrected, to be resolved. So not necessarily true that the soul is complete in a sense. It's not missing arms and legs, no, we do not mean this, but complete in the sense that it's ready for its journey 
but there can be wounds carried from past lives and also connections of um, soulmates from previous lifetimes and then when you are ready in this lifetime your energy may draw in your soulmate for that work to be drawn in so that you may do the work upon yourself For those who don't do the work on themselves in the sense of the personal development, for those who maybe are running away from uh, wounds, and there are many, and that makes sense, there's going to be many people that are like not ready to do the work on themselves, or it's too painful, or they don't feel supported, uh, for those who do not move forward in that sense of healing that wound, okay, thank you, um, <sighs> they just said the simple answer is yes, they become stuck, they become stuck. So maybe next lifetime, or maybe as they move forward, you again are not here to do the work for any family members or for anybody that you know. They have to step forward. They have to do it. By again, others who are observing your energy, observing how changes are happening, how some people might turn and say, oh, you've changed. Then that then they can identify, can see it. And hopefully their energy will match up with yours as well. And the high frequency. Oh, thank you. They just said for those who may enter into relationships on a very low frequency, i.e. they're saying in the sense of if you haven't done the work on yourself and then you're on low frequency and then you end up meeting somebody like for like because you're only going to receive that back. You're only going to have that back then you're going to repeat that low frequency. So, you know, domestic violence or whatever it is, whatever situation it is, if you do not do that groundwork on yourself, you are likely to attract some of this stuff that happens. Now, it's not saying that you you deserve it. I'm not saying any of that at all, because from my previous background, you know, my family, extended family members, you know, you, you don't purposely say, oh, I want to get into this violent relationship. Of course you don't. But it might be that you haven't done all the work or not even realised or maybe not have the support. Or I'm not sure, do you know? So it's really about when you're... So if you're hearing this information, it means already you're aware of your energy. You're trying to lift it up. You're trying to better yourself in some sense. Personal development, having that awareness, your energy lifts up. But you can't do the work for others around you. They sort of said, uh, as you know, souls come many lifetimes. And so this may be also something from a frequency from another lifetime that has been transported, yeah. transferred, transmuted into this soul being as they are now on the planet. So it would be that it does not, it is irrelevant where you start from. It is the same frequency that carries through and it will go back. So it, we would also say, Wherever the heart is connected, there is this thing, okay, there is this thing with the mind to some degree, but no, it is the heart. Wherever the heart carries the frequency, there is the, okay, thank you, they just said there is like a heart, uh, not heart member, like a heart frequency, there's, oh, thank you, there is a, a blip, there is a tune that the heart is playing, thank you, um, and it, oh, thank you, it carries on the frequency of the heart that it carries within the heart. Okay, they show me now a, a baby uh, um, embryo, fetus going back. Okay, it feels as if it's been set. Okay, I, I need to understand. Okay, thank you. They just show me like also, oh, thank you, how the frequency of the heartbeat also within the mother, the mother that carries it, also carries on the frequency. This answers some of the question from before. The frequency of the parents with the soul that comes in, there is a frequency on the heartbeat. Okay, thank you. They just said there is a signature to everyone's heartbeat. It's not always the same. There is a frequency and a signature every heartbeat and the soul comes in on that heartbeat. Ah, if you can heal that heartbeat, that signature of what has happened internally with the family, okay then you go back and you also can then heal parts of the family on an energetic frequency so the frequency from the individual that has had the wound that has occurred may not be from their childhood their upbringing it's a frequency that might be still carrying from another soul life that hasn't come into this human being's life that's been carried as the newborn baby 
carry the frequency then carries on as their adult and it still plays out the ripple effect it's as if well they show me it's like a is that ripple effect that they echo within that heartbeat that continues if you can i think you've just done this again when you carry um when you heal on that frequency that's internally within the heart connect it to the heart it will go back resonates all the way back it doesn't have to be that you continue to go all the way back if they link it to their childhood, that is fine, but not necessarily because it could be carried through from a previous lifetime. But there's a signature of the heartbeat that goes on and 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 on. Let me see. Yes, and also the frequency of the heartbeat as it echoes out into the cells, also into the you, the, your skin, this also is carried in. So, ah, thank you. So that's why also the, uh, I think you, that you humans have the touch and the tactile. There is healing that can be done through the skin as well. There is much work that can be done. Okay, thank you. This is showing me. The, the tapping as well okay thank you and um, okay thank you um that's why also um okay thank you um as in mother and baby and also ah thank you uh re abusive relationships are affected there is touch there is there are points on the skin that you have you there is many more reasons for skin not just to contain your uh, organs and your fluids there is also it can you can be programmed using your skin and through touch as well but yes we hope that has answered your question we know that we have gone into one because we are trying to make you aware there is more to the human than the human first fault you have this layer of skin but the nerve endings are very important too it's important that everyone realizes this <laughs>